Oh god, oh god, this is not good news. The Gloom Spite gets, these are the models, and I fucking love them. God damn it. I just bought a fuck ton of models. I'm not gonna buy these immediately, I'm just gonna paint up some of my shit. I might... In like a couple months or so, I might pick up the book, read it. And then go into the models to paint, because they look fucking amazing, and they look so fun. I would start off with the... Shade Spy... No, the Warhammer Underworlds team. Garbax gets. But anyways... I would recommend what... Well... I don't know if you would... Watch the trailer if you want, but this... It's not super good. Because some of the other trailers that they did for these factions, it ha they have some dialogue in them. This just shows off models. But you could just see them here in the pictures, so you don't actually need to watch the trailer. Here we have the Fanatics. And this Fanatic right here is my favorite. Out of all of these, this right here. The guy who's on the floor puking his guts out with his... Eyes exploding out of his head. Look good. I like him. Now these are good fanatics. Good job. And here we have a Loon Smasher fanatic. So instead of a metal steel ball, he has a... What is that? A, a shroom. Ah... That shroom reminds me of those mushrooms that release smoke. I think th that might be what this is modeled after. There are kind of like mushrooms that they just puff out smoke, which is their spores. Their endless spells. I like these three. I like the concept of this one. But the thing that ruins it for me is this here on top. I would prefer it if it was the moon. And this right here, obviously. But not this little smoke right here. Other than that, it looks good. I like this one. You know, like a nuclear bomb with the mushroom shroud. Looks good. The fucking spider cauldron. And these... The tide of spiders. That looks intense. And here is the faction leader that we saw in one of the trailers where he was speaking. It's not this one right here. There is a, another one that they released. I'll link it in the description. Where he's talking it to the moon and kind of like, please speak to me. I want to hear your voice again. Oh god, look at these squigs. Yeah, I think he looks good. I mean, I like him more than Snickrot. I mean, look at this shit right here. This is a fucking gorgeous terrain piece. I, I, I think it looks great. Here we got some squigs. Again. Look great. My favorite is this fucking armored squig. But, I mean, what could you say? They're very good squigs. This right squig right here reminds me of an angler fish. Oh, we got a little mushroom guy right here. That's nice. Oh god, I didn't notice his this guy when I watched this picture first time. A fucking bagpipe. Oh my god. And this isn't even close to all the new models. So... 
I mean, this looks great. Their aesthetics are a mixture of uh, the the night goblins, the spider fang, and Trogoth. Those three are gonna be in this battle tome, which I think is good. I think those three mix well. So. This looks like it's going to be a very fun release. And since I always planned on just having three AOS armies. Uh, my Seraphon. The Daughters of Cain. Which is kind of... The Daughters of Cain are more just for painting. Not necessarily to play. Which is weird since that is the only one I had the battle tome for. I'm waiting for a ser the Seraphon to get a new battle tome. And then I wanted a destruction, and I think out of the destruction, this will probably be the one I'm gonna choose. The grots and all that, because I fucking love how it looks. And I kinda like painting green skins, it's very easy. Because I often start with a white primer. I paint them yellow, just give them a green wash, done. And then I might kind of like, if I'm gonna pick out a certain parts of their face, I might, uh, let's see if I can do it right here. Let me show you what I mean. If I can find my, uh, where are, here are the boys of love. Oh, there we go. Kind of like I would paint them all pretty much this type of green skin. I mean, the basic troops and all that, because this was super easy to do. Like I said, white primer, and then paint them yellow, and then a beel tan green wash. And that's how you got it. And then, you know, for the faces and all that, I did a bit of super watered down red to just give it some, some colors, some extra colors on the face. This guy got a little bit pooling right here, but I think it worked out in the end with his silver eye right here. And then this eye, which you can't, you can't see from this angle, this is red, like they, they all have red eyes. This guy just lost an eye and had a silver one put in or something. But yeah. Thanks for watching.